I'm hungry. Welcome back to So You're Interested In, the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into their catalog. On this installment, we will be looking at the self-dub stoner emo group, Cloakroom. Forming in Michigan City, Indiana, Cloakroom has been putting out their own signature blend of heavy melodic music. Taking from influences like Red House Painters, Hum, and Sleep, this group has carved out their niche sonic playground. This trio also isn't afraid to dip their hands into something new, going as far as to create a space western themed LP for their latest effort, Disillusion Wave. Cloakroom has come a long way since their initial startup, so to help you navigate through this eclectic discography, I'll be recommending two albums and three three individual tracks that I think will help you get started. Let's take a look at some albums, shall we? The first album you should listen to by Cloak Room is their latest 2022 release, Disillusion Wave. Now, usually I try to recommend an earlier album in their discography, but with Disillusion Wave, it is simply too accessible to not have up first. Opening up this record, we get the song Lost Meaning, and what an opening it is. From the first monstrous guitar strike, this track lights up a joint and invites you to join in on the messy high. The instrumental kind of drags too, allowing for each note to be stretched to its absolute limit. Then we have the absolutely lovely cut a force at play. This thing is dreamy and whimsical, having an air of uncertainty mixed with hopefulness both in the instrumental and in the impeccable vocals. Honestly, if you like the band Nothing, then odds are you're also going to enjoy a force at play. One more noteworthy song is Fear of Being Fixed. Holy mother of stoner metal, this track is as slow as molasses. The only difference between molasses and this is that this has enough sonic blast to leave dents in your brain. Fear of Being Fixed is full of rich, fuzzed out goodness. This illusion wave proves to the world that Cloakroom is a stoner metal band at heart, whether we like it or not. Another great record to check out is Cloakroom's 2017 release, Time Well. Unlike Disillusion Wave, Time Well is a project that is completely rooted in its soundscape and atmosphere. Shifting from one song to the next isn't a chore, it just kind of happens, almost as if these aren't individual tracks, but instead are segments of a greater piece. Basically, what I'm getting at here is that Time Well has a very particular vibe, and you can't shake that vibe no matter what you do. This vibe is loud and in your face, with a cut like Big World. The riffs are so earth shattering that I'm not fully convinced they didn't cause any seismic activity while recording it. On a track like Seedless Star, the riffs are less chunky and a little more stringy, taking influence from 90s rock. This seven and a half minute track is nothing to scoff at as Cloakroom confront their slow gaze demons and decide to embrace the hell out of them. Seedless Star is one of the most methodic cuts to date with immense purpose in every fuzzed out note. One last song to touch on is The Sun Won't Let Us Go. From the opening sound of Doyle Martin's isolated vocals to the gorgeous melody midway through the track, this song is elegant and lovely. Sure, it's sad, but it's also a damn good cut. Time Well as a whole needs to be listened to in its entirety to be fully understood and appreciated. I suggest taking a few bull rips, throwing this bad boy on, and embracing the noise to its fullest. That's all that I got for albums, but I still got a couple of tracks hidden up my sleeve. The first track that you should check out is Dream Journal from their 2013 EP, Infinity. This is, without a doubt, the heaviest song on the project. Dream Journey is just good old fashioned stoner metal at its finest. Each guitar pummel is like a cough after a bong hit, abruptly interrupting the silence around you. If you enjoy this side of Cloakroom, then I highly recommend listening to the entirety of Infinity before moving on to the next track. Another standout is Star Child Skull from their 2015 debut album, Further Out. The grooves on here are outstanding while still adding in some weirder chord changes that you wouldn't typically find in Cloakroom's music. I don't know what pedals they're using here, but my god are they working over over time, like somebody give these pedals a goddamn raise. Martin's vocals are perfectly downtrodden, fitting the shoegaze vibe to a T. All in all, Star Child Skull is another otherworldly installment that deserves your ears. Finally, I'm gonna need you to listen to the live version of Paperweights from the band's 2013 Audio Tree Live. The original recording is already pretty emotional, but damn man, they turned the feels up to 11 with this performance. Every guitar strike and drum pound pulls you in like a trance, while the vocals lull you to sleep. I also also adore the laissez-faire attitude throughout. It's a simply gorgeous recording that feels absolutely wonderful in such a shitty way while you listen to it. If I were you, I would listen to both the studio recording and live version of Paperweights to truly get the full Cloakroom experience. And that will conclude my video on Cloakroom. Links to all the albums and tracks discussed here will be located in the video description.
description box below. Scroll down a little bit more to the comment section where you can let me know if you liked any of the albums or tracks that I picked here. Maybe you've never heard of Cloakroom. Maybe they're one of your favorite bands. Whatever it is, leave a comment below, start a discourse. I promise I will get back to you. You can also recommend any artist you would like to see covered on this show. Just know, as always, I do have a bit of a backlog built up, so don't be disappointed if you don't see your video in the near future. With that being said, you guys have been giving me some great suggestions as of late, so please keep it up. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this every single Monday and Thursday, along with a show called Stacks of Wax that comes out once a month where I go through my record collection A through Z to show you some of the cool pieces of plastic that I own. And yeah, that's it. Just make sure to go and support your local record store if you're able to, along with the local artists in your area. And well, until I see you next time, happy listening.